move forward? Anything that you could think of that would help the project move forward? Mm -hmm. I think in a conversation recently with Dr. Hahn, this project has, I think, such value for present and future generations. And there are Korean War veterans all over the United States. I think it would be a wonderful project to expand this experience beyond central New York and to go to other communities, not simply in New York State, but perhaps even throughout the United States to have a project perhaps uh, in different locations in each of our states to bring together, uh, as you had said earlier, uh, those veterans, we all know that they're getting up there in age, that they're, they're not going to be here forever. Uh, we've recently in the news heard that uh, our, the last veteran, I think, from World War I uh, is now deceased. Uh, there are more and more veterans from World War II uh, that are deceased. And I think to value, to capture, to appreciate the gift and the sacrifice, again, of these men and women, these veterans, uh, and to, to hear their stories throughout the country because n none of us have the same story. All of our stories are different. And I think to provide future generations with the opportunity to hear similar themes but different expressions of those themes. What do you think about uh, them bringing artifacts and photographs and uh, uh, mementos? Do you think that should be included in uh, the interviewing also? Actually, I think it's very helpful. Uh, there was one interview that took place recently where uh, one of the veterans brought a map that was a field map that their lieutenant had entrusted to them and simply said to this veteran, hold on to this, do not lose this under any circumstances. And he held on to it throughout the war and he brought it home as well. And he still has it today. And to see what a field map looked like, which is very unlike road maps that we're accustomed to from uh, you know, from the, the AAA experience, I want to travel from one state to another, or even uh, the kind of directions that we receive with, with again, our little technological uh, uh, GP things. Uh, I think for people to be exposed to uh, the, some of the symbols of war, uh, that's important. I heard it was pretty cold in Korea when this war was going on at certain times. What, what do you think the Korean War veterans would say about the atmosphere or the, uh, the environment? What do, what do you think they, they'd say? Was it cold, warm, bad, good? What, what do you think they, they would probably say? Yeah, actually, the, uh, on two interviews, I've heard two veterans talk a little bit about that. And they did say that the, uh, the winters felt very, very stark and to some extent brutal and that uh, the, the awareness of terrain and surroundings uh, is seen not through in those experiences as tourists, but they're seen through men and women in combat. And that they say you see things very differently. For some of the veterans who've gone back to Korea since then, they've experienced and uh, gone to some of the places where the battles have taken place. And naturally, over all these decades, there have been lots of changes. But they still find some of the essence of, uh, of that location where they were. And I think it's just it's very, very fascinating. Having never been to Korea, I, I couldn't speak very much about that anymore. Well, I love that you talked about this. And uh, I think uh, having a pastor talk about it and the love that he has for the community is wonderful. I want to thank you for coming. Thank you very thank much, you. Joe. Thank it you is an much. honor. Thank you Thanks. very much. Yep.